Hi there, my name is Matte Sulanto and today I will review this Canon 70-300 tele zoom lens. This lens is not mine, it belongs to Canon Finland, but I'm not getting paid for this review and I also, uh, nobody asked me to do this, I'm just doing this because I want to share this with you. Yes, this is the EF 70-300 F4 to 5.6 IS Mark II USM. And this is obviously a full frame lens and also a DSLR lens. But I'll take a look how this performs on Canon EOS M50. The reason for me to do that is because there are very limited uh, tele zoom options for the Canon M series. There's only the 18 to 150 and 50 to 200 tele zooms, and if you're not happy with those, you have to look elsewhere. I wanted to look at this because even though it's um, a full frame lens and a DSLR lens, but with Canon's own adapter, it works like a native lens on any of the um, M series cameras. It is also not too big not too heavy nor too expensive. The equivalent focal length on any APS-C Canon camera is from 112 mm to 480 mm. So it's a true telephoto lens and you can certainly get that compressed uh, real telephoto look into your photos with this lens. The physical construction seems really solid there's just a little bit of free play here, but nothing too bad. And um, although it's plastic, the other case is plastic, it still feels really solid. There's a, a focusing ring which feels reasonably smooth, but of course it's a fly-by-wire type, so there's no real like a feedback. The zoom ring is smooth and um, yes, yeah, it feels very nice. And then there is this uh, LCD display that can display either the, the focal length or the zoom position or the, the focusing distance or a bubble level. And then there is um, autofocus, manual focus switch and image stabilizer on off switch. And yes, it does have an image stabilizer, which is very important, especially on a telephoto lens. There's also a switch to lock the lens to uh, the minimum focal length to prevent so-called zoom creep, but I didn't uh, see any zoom creep even without the lock and I was walking around uh, Helsinki and the uh, zoom was hanging like this, uh, lens, the front lens pointing down. Generally speaking, I don't really like the idea of using full-frame lenses on my crop sensor cameras because the full-frame lenses tend to be too big and too heavy and they are not optimized for the small sensor but there is something good in there too because this is a full-frame lens it uses the sweet spot of the image circle and the image circle tends to be like a pizza the good part tends to be in the middle and indeed the optical performance of this lens on my Canon EOS M50 looks really really good. I don't know how this performs on full frame sensor, I've never used this on full frame sensor, but if there are some issues towards the edges of the frame, they are not showing on the crop sensor camera and that's only good. I found the autofocus really really fast and reliable. Only sometimes when you are trying to focus from the minimum focusing distance, which is roughly one meter, to uh, something very far away, like 100 meters away or something, there could be some hesitation there, but that's normal with any camera or any lens. I did not use this for any like sports or wildlife photography because I'm not really interested in that, but I see no reason why this could not work there also. I used this with my Canon EOS M50 camera body. And the combination is really well balanced and it's a pleasure to use. All in all, I don't know what more to say. I was really uh, positively impressed with this lens. I think it's um, a great telephoto lens for any Canon M-series camera. But of course you need this 
EOS M2EF adapter and I highly recommend if you are thinking about buying um, any M-series camera sometimes you get this adapter for very uh, good price if you buy it together with the camera they make uh, like packages or or bundle deals or whatever they are called so I highly recommend you get this adapter because it really um, makes all the EF lenses work on that camera body as they were native lenses. I hope you enjoyed this uh, review and I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.